Hi guys, welcome to this video about what's the best hair regrowth treatment. There are so many things around in the internet you can buy cheap things. Um, yes, yeah, some kind of shampoo. They blo or they are supposed to block some yeah things which are preventing hair from regrow. Um, they are more expensive things like laser uh, systems. They are uh, topical, um, yeah, things. There are chemical things um, like the mini uh, minoxidil. I don't know how to s spell that. Uh, that's a common thing. I mean, equate. There is um, R Rogaine. That's the the main brand, Rogaine from that uh, this is the same thing at Walmart there are so many things you can uh, yeah you can google endlessly in the internet and trying to find things you can also take capsules which are supposed to stimulate hair growth or um, yeah or, or prevent things which are like your <laughs> yeah in um, inactivate things which are preventing from hair growth and, and so that uh, such things so there are endless things around and i have tried almost everything i haven't tried the laser thing but when you google that um they don't have really uh a really good feedbacks apart from a, probably a a few feedbacks which are probably uh, bought um, the rest uh, says yeah it's a scam doesn't work so it's absolutely difficult to find something cheap which doesn't have side effects I mean there is something uh, new there's a chemi chemical like a capsule or pill you can take but it has huge side effects and it's absolutely not recommended if hair regrowth is your top priority and everything else doesn't matter your um, overall health or whatever so yeah you can go this way but I definitely would not recommend so I um, from the cheap things or the affordable things which which everybody can buy and do not have side effects which thing does work based on my experience I would say nothing <laughs> unfortunately I have to tell you the truth uh, none of these are really working whatever you buy not even the minoxidil I mean there has been some proof um, yeah when I mean they have found this this is uh, based on another chemical and workers have been packing pills into uh, boxes and they were in contact the whole day and uh, hair has been growing uh, on their hands and probably so you will, would have to be in contact with this thing the whole day and maybe then it will work maybe not so I've been using that for months or even years and I thought yeah maybe do it, so, uh, it, it would do something but it, it didn't do anything so uh, I don't know how they come up with these nice reviews maybe paid I don't know uh, for me simply it didn't work and all these natural things um, you can believe me I have tested almost everything I've been uh, into uh, I've been uh, like an uh, Amazon tester and I got almost everything which is available I got it by mail I was in a program for some time and they sent me everything and I have been able to test all these solutions all these shampoos all these natural pills all this thing and and yes I have to tell you no no uh, absolutely no results and um, yeah I the thing is 
so to give you an idea I'm showing you what I've <laughs> tried so the pure door hair loss prevention um, here something uh, topical solution D DHT blockers this is a big thing so palmetto I've been trying like uh, yeah something in this uh, as a topical solution as uh, taking it internally yeah it caused me some reflux problems so so palmetto can be really uh, bad for your digestion I can tell you coconut oil hair grows yeah sounds good <laughs> never happened to me you see yeah so many things most of them have oh, oh, always the same things like so palmetto biotin um, here shampoos um, hair growth vitamins there are so many things it's absolutely crazy what they sell uh, and I have I can tell you I have tried everything I was so excited about all these things and none of these worked for me really absolutely none of these worked so even when they have some high um, a good feedbacks but uh, I can tell you um, probably 99% of these things are of the good reviews are paid um, yeah so um, what maybe if, if there is something cheap without side effects and it would work the only way is if you have like a disease if you have a really fungus if you have if you have something on your skin and which is really like yeah disease something which can be cured uh, there are like bacteria there are some funguses and I mean it's always a good thing to check with your dermatologist or just try something uh, which uh, is supposed to kill fungus or bacteria uh, there is uh, a lot, lot of stuff around you can also use natural things like coconut oil and that would uh, definitely uh, kill um, all these things uh, I think also black soap would do the job uh, and kill uh, bacteria and um, funguses and those things so uh, so definitely it, it, it's a good thing to try maybe you are affected by those things but I think chances are pretty low so if this doesn't work and yeah these things I'm pretty sure uh, my personal opinion is really 99.99% .99 of these things are not working they are a waste of time waste of money waste of everything the only thing which really works and I've been doing a lot of research the only thing which is really working for 99 uh, or for yeah most of the people the only the only way uh, to go is uh, hair transplantation uh, hair implants yeah unfortunately looks like this is the truth uh, everything else seemed to be a waste of money a waste of time I mean there is research around uh, in laboratories they have found solutions um, to regrow hair but obviously it seems that it's not possible these days uh, cheap without side effects and probably will have to wait for a couple of years or even decades uh, decades um, and the other the only thing is um, yeah hair transplantation works uh, a lot of people have been doing that uh, usually quite costly and also risky it's like a um, small like surgery every surgery has some risk of course can cause some effect um, in, in infections and of course uh, if you choose a cheap company cheap um, uh, yeah place if you go to third world countries and doing that um, can turn bad I mean maybe it's not just not looking good and you have to pay a lot of money 
um, to change that I mean usually it can be somehow repaired but I would be really careful just look um, yeah that the, you can get really um, you find good reviews about where you'll do that and yeah if you want to do uh, and you have the money for that yeah um, and you are willing to take the risk why not I mean if you want to uh, spend some money then probably better on hair transplantation than on some of these things uh, laser and infrared diets or w w whatever this is uh, junk waste waste of money so uh, I mean this is my experience with about 20 years of struggling with hair uh, if you have other experience would be really really good to know I'm not saying I know everything but I'm definitely uh, I know a lot and I have been trying a lot I've been trying more than most of the other people because I was able to test uh, almost all those things on Amazon for free and it didn't work so yeah that's the truth um, at least for me my personal opinion um, yeah I'm not a health practitioner or a dermatologist or whatever um, I'm just telling you about my experience and trying to help you uh, to avoid waste of time waste of money so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time